Hey there, I'm back. Um, little video here showing how I integrated um, in GUI with um, UFPS. So if you haven't heard of uh, NG, NGUI, uh, just look it up on the uh, Asset Store. It's for doing GUI and stuff like that for the graphical user interface. Um, so basically once you've got your scene set up and you've got your player, mine just has to be advanced player, I put mine on the end of it. Um, I wrote this, uh, well, I had help writing the script. Uh, someone on the, uh, I'll put the link to the person um, on the UFBS forums uh, wrote part of this script. Um, so what we're doing is I've got, it's called pause detect. Uh, first thing I'm doing, I am defining my UFPS player. I just gave it a name, FPS player. Um, I like to add this whenever I'm defining stuff so that I can change the name of it later. So that way for, for you, if yours is called my player, you can just change the name of it right here. And then that way, so these two items, I made them public so you can change them in the inspector and then also I have it in the awake function. So right here it's redefined. Um, like I say here you could probably remove this but I, I like to set it up like this. So what it's going to do is it's going to find this FPS player with whatever the name is that you put here. And then it's going to take um, I've got another define for M player, which is the UFPS, it's the uh, player event handler. And then I also have the, um, the UFPS um, input for the player. Uh, we're going to use these two in the script. So I need to uh, assign those. So I've got the player assigned, which is based on the FPS player, and then I have the in input assigned. Um, if you want to copy this down, the best thing to do is just pause, because I'm not able to copy this and paste it below in the, uh, in the comment section. So then, if we go down to the update, um, there's a couple ways to check for if something's paused. So basically I'm saying here if the time scale is zero, then we're going to turn on, oh, I forgot to mention. So I've got my NGUI stuff. Here's the, uh, this is the HUD. So basically it's a panel that you always show in game. So it had, it'll have things like your health or whatever else you want to show on the screen, score, whatever. Um, and then I've got a pause menu. Um, I've grabbed, I created a UI label for health, which is called a health label. Um, this is the slider that's attached to this label, called a health slider, so that I can change it as you get shot or whatever. And then I've got a label for clips and ammo. I did these because that's the same way that it's set up when you get your UFPS. Alright, so now if you go down to the update, I'm checking to see if the time scale is zero. So basically if the game is paused. So if the game is paused I'm going to turn off my HUD which has all your basic game objects and I'm going to turn on my pause menu. See it says pause. That's what I named it right here. And then I'm going to um, change the cursor from uh, where you can't see your mouse to the arrow that you can uh, normally see like that right there. Um, so this is what you do to change your um, cursor and then here I'm grabbing this input, that VPFP input and I'm turning, uh, I'm setting it true which is right here, force cursor true. So I'm basically checking that box. And when you do that, it means that anywhere you click on the screen, it's not going to turn back into um, like you're shooting in-game. 
So that's all contained in there. So basically this is going to time scale zero, turn off my HUD, turn on my pause menu, activate my cursor, let it so that I can click on the screen. Uh, next thing we're, I'm doing is this is my health label, my GUI label. So I'm just doing a text. Um, I pretty much copied this straight out of the, um, the HUD script that they have set up. But basically I'm just assigning it as a text equals here's my health plus I'm changing this float to an int multiplying it by a hundred so it won't be like 0.1 it'll, it'll be whatever the amount is and I'm throwing a percent sign on the end uh, the next one is I'm taking the health slider value and since this is a float I'm just going to change it so it's the same as that and then I'm doing the same thing for clips where you get your item count ammo uh, there's your ammo and then down here this is um, public virtual void hide menu so this is a little custom function so we're going to use this function in our pause menu on our button to make the menu go away so basically the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unpause the game so this is our M player which is the FP player event handler. We're going to um, turn our cursor field back. See right here we made it true. So we're going to change it back to the normal game mode. We're going to turn our HUD menu back on. And we're going to turn our pause menu off. So that's it for that script. Um, the other script I just did a quick little edit to. This is the script that's going to come with your uh, UFPS it's actually on on the advanced player so it's right there no that's not it it's right here VP simple head script um, so I just did a quick little edit I just commented it out so if you do a slash with a star anywhere you so I just commented this whole section off because this is where they set GUI boxes and where they set your health and stuff. So since I'm doing it in this, I just wanted to turn it off. So that's at, you know, 87 to 96. All right. So from there, um, I created a prefab of a, just a basic little menu. Uh, sorry, let me turn these collisions off or trigger. Okay, so I created a menu. Um, so this is an NGUI. I set the size uh, 600 by 960 because this is for a web player. So you're going to want to set it whatever size you want. And then this is where I put my script. I put it right on the root. So there's my pause detect script. And you'll see I can change the name of the advanced player. I can either drag this in here or not. Um, I've got this little bar. All I did was I took from uh, NGUI menu, there's uh, under examples Atlas is wooden. There is a, a control slider. I think it's the color one. Yeah, so I took this one, I turned off the, or I just deleted the thumb, and then I cha I moved the label to be over top of it where I wanted it, um, because in game, it see it just kind of changes. So, um, so that's the one I used, and I just named it Health Slider. Um, so here you're going to drag your health slider in it. This label that I used is this label right here. I just put it right over top of it. And then, so you need to notice I have a panel. Um, I created two sprites. Oh, sorry. 
So I just created two sprites and I threw a label on them just so it looks better. And I've got my ammo label and I've got my clips label. Nothing fancy. Um, and then I just dragged. I named them so I'd know where they were. So I just dragged them on top of there. And then for my pause menu, I actually just disabled it. I just created a really simple basic pause menu. It's just a, I think all it is is what a sprite. Yeah, and then I grab this, notice it says control simple button. I just grab that and I put it right there and it's my resume button. So here, now one thing you want to do on this, this is where you're going to take, you're going to drag the root onto this here. I'll do it real quick. So you're going to drag the root onto the behavior and change this to hide menu. After you do that, because the hide menu, that's our pause detect on hide menu, that's that's what turns it on and off. So then I'm going to deactivate this and um, the other thing that you need to do is this uh, the depth needs to be changed. I'll show you in game. So the UFPS, uh, the root, the camera for the NGUI root needs to be changed because watch when I hit the turn a weapon on. So if I hit P to pause, see so um, notice it's behind it. So you're going to want to change this, I think, to. Yeah. So if you set it to 2, it's going to be in front of the gun. Um, so in action, so you notice I don't have a mouse. Um, I'll just show you real quick that the when I hit the ground, see the health changed. I'm now at 63%. And if I come over here, I can get a health. And I'm full of health again. And then if I pause it, you just hit P to pause. Um, it's the default for UFPS. So if I pause it, now I can't do anything. Look, I can click anywhere I want. And then when I'm done with my pause menu, my really super fancy pause menu, if I hit resume, it goes away, and there's my HUD. Pause, but the HUD's gone. Notice over here, the HUD is disabled, and the pause menu is enabled. And if I hit resume, I also notice here, look, there's the force cursor is on. So if I hit resume, it's off again, and my pause menu is off. Alrighty, well that's it. Um, yeah, this is just my little work in progress for a contest. Alright, well, I uh, I really hope that that helped everybody. Um, I know it was a huge, huge, huge pain in the butt for me to get this working. Uh, so, alright, take it easy.